The best intimacy was when I, <laughs> intimacy, was when I threw my neck out sneezing. Yep. And I was on my monthly period. And you were like, do you need me to change your tampon? <laughs> and I think I even texted my mom that day. This is when we were still dating. And I was like, this one, keeping him. <laughs> this one. This is a good one for you. Mm -mm. How would you tell the story of us? Oh God, how do I tell the story of us? Well, two couple of crazy kids got on Tinder on a whim. Yeah, both not for the traditional Tinder reasons. No, honest, I honest. Got, I was honest yeah. to make fun of guys. And I thought you were a robot because you were cute. You responded. You were friendly, and I was like, "This is too many checks." Like in a good. What did you? Way. What, so what did you think I was like? Hello, boy. Yeah, I thought it was gonna immediately go to like, "I'll send nipple picture for release," and I thought I was gonna be like, "Oh, I got trapped." Oh no! Like I thought that's where it was going, but then you just were a real person. It was pretty exciting. Describe the moment you realized I was in love with you. The, after the first date and then, or one of the first dates, I think. And I was like, hey, I really want to see you again. Like, seriously, like we should do this again. And I think like the next day or something like that, we went on yeah. another date. But usually, especially like on Tinder, online dating and stuff, it was like, I never got past one. I don't think, maybe. Those girls are crazy. First date, yeah, I don't think so. And like, I mean, I got like yelled at in the street and stuff with, uh, from girls. It was like, it just never was a positive thing. But I'm also not that like um, forward, I guess, usually. Like, usually I'll be like, oh, like, it'll get figured out. Like, if we want to see each other, it'll happen. But I was like, no, I've got to see you again. Okay. If you could go back to the first time we met, what advice would you give yourself regarding being in a relationship Conmigo. Um, don't hover. Don't hover when he's trying to make pancakes and tell him how to make the pancakes because I'll have a fit. Um, and, and be patient because I had to learn that along the six years. Be patient because you are a Libra and you do like to like talk things to death. <laughs> Sometimes you'll say like, so you know, when we like, are we, what are we thinking about this? And I'm like, no, no, no. I thought we made that decision like a week ago. Why, why, are we still, why, why are we still, why are we still doing this? No, that happened two days ago with yeah. ordering Thai food. Thai food. Yeah. I thought we made a decision and then you freaked. So just being patient. And I, I, I've tried, I've gotten better at the patience because for sure. when we first met, I was like the energizer bunny and you were like <laughs> the tortoise in the hair. Yeah. So. When do, you, when do you feel people judge us and why do you think they do? Hmm. I think people think that we're lying a lot about <laughs> like the quality of our relationship. Yeah. I think people think we're, people say we're codependent and they say it in such a negative way. Yeah. You know, like, oh, you guys always want to be next to each other. You guys always want to be with each other. And it, I feel like that's judgmental yeah. or like you guys like to spend so much time together. Ugh. And I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> when you think ahead to our wedding, what excites you the most? I can tell you what did excite me and that I'm so sad that I think won't happen is the melding of our families. That's what I was looking forward to. But what I'm, that was the question, right? What excites you? Yeah. What excites oh, me? Yeah. But what what really excites me is just being married to you. Yeah. Just finally being Mrs. Which I've had that email. I've had that email address since. You have really? Oh yeah. I got this. What do you think ah, this is? I hit that. But it's been sitting, <laughs> sitting on the shelf. <laughs> That's what excites me. Just being your wife. Just be. Just waking up in the morning, the morning after, and being like, Oh my God! I'm finally your wife. Yeah. You're fucking stuck with me forever, sucker. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that point heavily. It feels like it was not just because of COVID, but like it should have probably 
like emotionally, it feels like that happened a long time ago. Yeah. And some of our friends would even tease us and just say, I'm just going to call her your wife because it's basically just yeah. what it is. And I was always cool with that and agreed and comfortable with that. And it was just, it's just, if it's like a nice thing to say. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a, it's that symbol of saying like moving forward, like we're like, you guys are free to fuck without a condom and have a baby honey, and honey. get a house and do all kinds of cool <laughs> shit. It's exciting. You know, like that makes me excited. Not really. I'm teasing about that first part, but like the thought of having a kid is really exciting yeah. and like a trying family, to figure out how to house. like, yeah, like the teach dog, it, the fence, dance and baseball and Italian, all these kinds of things. And yeah. Now. Oh, oh boy. If this were to be our last conversation, what's one thing you'd never want me to forget? That's so emo. I just have to say that out loud. I will try my best. Um, I would just want you to never forget that I loved you with everything I got. Yeah. I don't like to think about not talking to you ever again. Yeah, that's really it makes me sad. Um, Cause like, I mean, with life with COVID things can happen and you cannot talk to somebody ever again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ditto. I would want you to know that like, I love you. Like I've never loved anybody before. Um, and then you mean a lot to me. Sorry. I have to be sorry. Silly little girl. <laughs> I got you to Zuzu. I do. Yeah. I feel like that's so cheesy and I feel like I wanted something more profound to say, but just I love you with my whole body, mind, soul. You have made me such so much better. You've healed my heart. And if this was the last time we ever talked, I'd be okay with that. Because I would go out knowing that I had something great in my life. Yeah. I might I might try to sneak something in, like I'll see you in the afterlife or something too, to try to... Well, yeah, you're not getting rid of me that fast. <laughs> Let you know that I'll, I'll still look for you later, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, why do you love me? Why don't I love you? Aww. Um. I mean, I I I, I know I've already said it, but just you're, it, it, you you bring such peace to my life, and like uh, you you make me feel like I've done something good with life. Like you, I feel completed with you. It's a lifelong journey and you don't know if you'll ever even find the right person. And, you know, I would just say like, if, if, if someone doesn't believe in like a real soulmate, like, I feel like we're an example of that, you know? Yeah. I feel like I found my soulmate and I love you for so many reasons, but, um, first of all, that was probably one of the nicest things I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm glad I'm your peace and not your crazy. I think I might be a little bit of your crazy. Not to me. You, you're the crazier one of us, probably, but I get down a little bit. Why do I love you? You're just it for me for so many reasons. Your love of family, the way you love me, the way you love our kids, our kids. You just have such a good heart. And I wish everybody could see that because I feel, but I, I love you because you allow me to see that because not everybody gets to see that. Sometimes people think you have a BF. <laughs> I do. I think. But I get to see the silly side of you and I get to see the loving and caring and compassionate person that you are. And that's why I love you. You allow me to love you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey everybody, thank you so much for being here. Uh, it's Nick from The Skin Deep, and I just wanted to let you know that you know these conversations are all facilitated by our questions, and we've taken those questions and put them into the end card game. So if you wanna have more meaningful conversations, if you wanna start deepening the connections in your life, go to shop.theskindeep.com to check out our card game and all the other stuff that we're doing. So thanks so much.